Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Oh My God, your head's gone, and today I am bringing you yet another Grand Theft Auto 5 online glitch that lets you get back to North Yankton after patch 1.08. So, the first method you needed the prologue mission to get to North Yankton, and then they patched that with 1.08, but there's another mission called Bury the Hatchet that you can actually use to get back to North Yankton online. So, here's how you do it. You want to make sure first that you are on any story mode character in story mode, and you have to be about 45% done the story mode, and then once you're at that point, just open up the start menu, go to game, and then go to replay mission and find the mission bury the hatchet again you have to have completed around 45 percent of the story mode to get to this point and then just accept the mission and play it through until you get to the point in that mission that you're actually in north yankton on either michael or trevor depending on which character you're playing the mission on and then once you actually reach north yankton you have to have a friend send you an invite from an invite only online session so you do need a friend to do this i was in a bad sport lobby and all my friends weren't in bad sports so i just went into a bad sport lobby i sent a f or i sent a message to all the recent players that were in those bad sport lobbies and this guy the h1n1 virus actually uh, he messaged me back and he's like, yeah, man, I can help you with glitch, no problem. So, big shout out to him. And then uh, he sent me an invite once I told him to. And then what happens is you join his session online. But because you had North Yankton loaded from the story mode, it actually stays in the memory of the game. And you can now actually access North Yankton online. Now, once you're actually in that invite-only session from your friend... Uh, all you have to do is get a helicopter from Pegasus or go to the airfield, anything like that, and then go to the spot on the map that I just marked at the southeastern part of the map, and then just fly over there, and North Yankton is actually going to appear about a mile out from the actual coast. The graphics in this game still blow my mind. Ten years ago, guys, Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City were only coming out, and if you go back and play them, man, the graphics are just so mediocre compared to... I mean, look at that city. Look how that was developed. I mean, it's just amazing how far we've progressed. And this is only for the current gen of console. This game isn't even for the next gen of console. If you go and look at Killzone, for example, on PS4, the graphics are ridiculous. So imagine how the next Grand Theft Auto is going to look on the next gen console when it's actually developed specifically for those much higher end specification guys. You know, I can't wait. It's just, it's so astounding to think that that city back there i can land anywhere there and like it's a free world it's, you know i can do whatever i want the game has no boundaries it's just really cool that uh, you know this would have never been something that people would have thought you know was possible you know you have a controller in your hands and you can actually just you know access this huge crazy digital world on your phone and you know have fun with friends and stuff like that but anyways guys so here we are in north yankton uh, a lot of stuff to to fool around with and just to, to check out and, and to explore uh, I, I'd never post the first North Yankton glitch on my channel, but I figured I would post this one since it got patched, and I know a lot of you guys really liked it and were kind of bummed it got patched. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe if you're new. Let's try to hit 350 likes on this video, guys. That would be amazing. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.